He always said, We're not going to start so early like you did last year. That's how he sounds. We are not starting this early. It's too much work. Well, I'm going to start one because I like doing it and I want to see what bears are out there, huh? Hey everyone, went outdoors. Here we are at the cabin, and this is the first bear baiting video of 2024. Yes, we are going to start a bear bait, right? It's a Memorial Day weekend, Saturday. It's beautiful. We've been up here all since Thursday night late, doing yard work, cleaning up stuff, trees, cutting grass, whatever. And I know Leroy says, I'm not starting those bear baits as early as you did last year, but we are gonna start one. So, surprise to him, we're starting a bear bait. He has a tag this year, he's given it to his old, uh, youngest son, Lane. But we have all this bear bait, might as well bait, huh? Put a camera on it, see what we can see. I love doing it, so we're gonna start one of them. Let's go in the shed here once. Yeah, we got, well, we gotta clean this out. But I know there's multiple barrels of, of bait left over yet. There's peanuts, there's seeds, there's all kinds of crap. We got oil, we got cookies, and I have to dig into it and see if we got some buckets of cream left. So it's time to uh, get started, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of organize this stuff, get this crap out. There's a lot of fish and stuff up and piled in your coolers. Oh, and I got to get my bear baiting uniform on. Huh? I can't bait without my bear baiting uniform. Oh, but it hasn't been washed. It's been sitting in the bag in that breezeway since last year bear season. Um, let's go get it out and get it clean. Huh? All right, here it is. The old Pepsi bag of, of bear baiting uniform. Let's get it on the table out here. See how bad it actually is. All right, see what's in this bag. How bad is it? Sweatshirt I don't wear too much, but it's a nice one. It's a browning. The hat. Oh, the socks. They look kind of crusty. <laughs> they smell. Smell like bear bait. Oh, the pants. They could probably. Oh, they are tacky. Huh? The shirt. And there is my uniform. Hmm. There's no way I could put that on right now, right? I gotta wash it, at least, and then hang it out to dry. I know I did. I've been wearing that now for a few years, huh? And I always think it's better having the scent of what you're baiting on instead of your human scent out there. I don't know. But then the bears get used to the human scent. A lot of people have a lot of different views on that as far as bear, bear baiting. But uh, I just put it on so I don't get all my other clothes really dirty when you're bear baiting because it seems to get sloppy and greasy and I just slide them on and it smells like bear bait obviously because that's what I bait in and and uh it's a win-win right let's get them washed up I feel bad for the washing machine though huh it might actually wreck the washing machine I don't know. fresh fresh out of the washer they still smell like bear bait that's how ingrained it is in the fabric. Now let it dry. All right, we didn't bear bait yesterday. I washed my bear bait in uniform and surprisingly, it still smells like chocolate, like, like bear bait, huh? Even after washing it with no scent detergent, but at least I can wear it now. It's not like a stiff stand by itself type uniform, but uh, like I said, I always wear it. So now we are getting our bear bait situated. This room kind of was a disaster and we're kind of working on organizing things. When he's kind of, after bear baiting for a while, you get buckets of cream, buckets of crab. You keep accumulating stuff. We got oil, we got lids, and then we got some more lids for our stumps. We're trying to remember which ones need these. These are the covers for the bear bait. We have some hollowed out logs that we, we need some more. But we saved these lids we found this year out in the woods when they were clear cutting and stuff. We cut them up and um, they were laying around, so we grabbed them. And uh, I know we need some of them on some of our bear baits. We're just going to start the one here today. I think the why, huh? Why not, right? 
but we're gonna get the bait together head out there and uh probably take a shovel with maybe dig i think there's a stump out there but i can't i think if i remember right i don't know we even did we bait that one last year yeah. at the very end maybe we did no i didn't we didn't really do it all year at the end we did not we did, did not summer, we did yeah yeah maybe we did but but I think we got a stump there. I might have to, I like to dig it back even even though dig it back in even though the bears are probably gonna dig it out as the season goes on once they start smelling and digging and it gets into the it's just easier to contain the bait because legally you're supposed to pick up all the scraps in between baitings or whatever and have them all covered. So if the stump's laying there and they knock it over and the bait gets shredded all over the place, then you're supposed to pick all that back up. I don't think you're ever gonna get busted for that, but you never know. Um, you try and do your best, but usually the birds and squirrels, skunks, whatever, will clean up the rest of the little scraps. But um, it just works better if it's buried in the ground, and then it's also level. So when the bear, the bear comes up to eat in it, it's actually kind of stretched out to get into the barrel, and it actually exposes more of its vitals. I think instead of if it's just laying there and they knock the stump over, then the stump could possibly be in the way of your shot. You could end up not even getting a shot. So if it's if it's a stationary stump, that's where you know right where the bear is going to be when it's eating, where your shot's going to be, versus it being rolled around and whatever. Um, so we're going to go through this bear bait a little bit better here, see what we got. I know we have barrels of stuff. Organize our buckets so we just need, we don't need 75 buckets laying around. And then uh, head out there, right? I'm going to put a cell camera on there so we'll be able to know instantly if something gets hit. And uh, if we need to rebait it before we leave tomorrow or not, whatever. But we're just starting it early now. We're not going to be real adamant on making sure we have a trip up here every week. But I can see from here on out through the rest of the summer, somebody be in here every week, right? Hopefully us. Then Leroy's going to start baiting with his kids. And... Uh, we can start adding baits as the summer goes on. I mean, it's pretty much going to be June, uh, June, July, August. You get three months. And uh, I know he'll probably start the rest of them probably in July. So we can just get one going for now and then see how it goes. The more baits, the better, I always say. Spread out. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, we got it cleaned out a lot better, huh? We got, I like to keep, well, there's two, four, six buckets with nice lids the same size bucket you can bait with 10 gallons of bait so it's five gallons per bucket so they're perfect we have an assortment of other buckets too but it's nice to have the lids on it when you're transporting them in your truck your four-wheeler they don't dump all over we have them dump over in the truck before but if you have a nice lid on them easy to carry in so we keep them buckets as strictly our baiting bucket that's enough for three baits if we need more we can add more whatever but we have well, Satan's traps here. This one is all corn chips, cookies, more cookies, some cereal. This one had cookies, and this one's got nuts and uh, what else in there? Grab this off of you. Bird seed. These are some, oh, pecans or something, or walnuts, I mean. Yeah, there's more nuts on the bottom, three different bags. We bought them in Cribbits, the mill at the, the uh, what was that? The seed place or whatever. But also we have this bucket. This is perfect way to get rid of stale chips and bread. So this whole thing is all cereals and chips and bread. And um, we have one container of cream left, an assortment of syrups and gold rush and cinnamon and peanut butter and molasses so we got to get more of that kind of stuff for sure that cream stuff and then if you've seen our videos in the past you always know that we have the old backpack sprayer right here that i spray down the entire area right now what's in there is something from last year i don't know what it smells it's probably gold rush water uh i think we've put some of that cinnamon in there it just smells really a lot of times i use vanilla i did that forever with the by the vanilla extract stuff Put that a couple of them in there, mix it with water, and then just spray it all over the place. Um, what else do you use? People use that all the anything you can spray. I think we use all oh, liquid smoke we did one year. Right in there, just gets the scent up in the air, kind of covers your scent. Uh, 
and then it gets it's dripping from the trees when we're done all over the place and seems to work fine this time of year i don't think it really matters too much we're just going to put probably a full bucket of cookies throw some cream and stuff in there um uh, maybe i don't know if it pays to do the nuts and stuff but the bears are just they're starving right now and hungry they came out of the den last month or whatever and just looking for food and there's no not much for natural vegetation out there natural like berries and nuts and you know so they're just eating they're just, they're just browsing so if they find a bear bait they're probably going to be all over it and uh which is good that's where we come in and we'll feed them right mm -hmm. well, let's fill up one of these with cookies and we'll fill the rest of this up make these are make sure these are full and then we can uh, throw a lid in the truck the shovel the sprayer and head on out there all right, we're at the, the infamous Y spot. We've got the wheelbarrow, two buckets of bait, the lid, the backpack with the camera. I brought a sidearm. Uh, just because of their own security reasons, I don't like... I'm not too worried about a bear, but this time of year, bears, sows with cubs. Um, cougars, you hear more and more about the cougars. And it's just... I mean, it's just a sense of security when you have that on there. I don't know if it'll do anything, but at least you have something to defend yourself if something ever happens. It, nothing ever does happen, but I don't want to be that that first guy. But the mosquitoes are unbelievably bad. We may have to go back and get spray. Because this is it's like unbearable. Normally I won't be taking a wheelbarrow in, but this is our setup otherwise. The backpack spare, two buckets, and you head on in, right? Maybe another backpack if you have a camera in there with it needs batteries but we're gonna put a cell cam up with the solar panel so hopefully that should never have to worry about coming in and and switching it switching it out but I kind of like the, the cheap regular cameras we've been using forever because they're they're inexpensive but you have to check the chip every time but you're going into bait anyways and I like taking the chip back put it in the computer um, sometimes I don't get everything fed to my phone with the cell cam especially the videos so I'm gonna probably still switch out the chips on the cell cam when we go in and out, but at least it, it'll be feed to us when we're at home, when the when it gets hit. Other than that, it's all you need. You run in quick as the summer goes on. You're just grabbing two buckets, the spray, go back in, throw it, come back out, right? But let's get moving because these mosquitoes are actually horrible. All right, we made it in, but. My recommendation right now is don't go in the woods. The mosquitoes, they're just, I couldn't even walk. <sighs> Hopefully we can get this done and get out of there. Then we have to stop every 10 feet, right, Parker, to, to move a, a tree or branch out of the way because the path's all overgrown. But we made it out here. <coughs> I always like this path. The, back, the backdrop looks pretty good yet. Yeah, we could build it up a little bit, right, to force the bears around. We do have a nice stump and a nice lid out here. We now we got two lids, right? Mm -hmm. So we like we should dig that in a little more. Hopefully it stays in there. At least it's in the hole right now. I think we did move this one time a few years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it? It was back there. And the hole got all bad and soupy and deep and stuff. So. But it's a nice setup, nice tree. I um, always see bear here. Well, let's get get to it. All right, Parker built up the backstop a little bit. Um, I scraped as much as I could to fill this in <clears throat> around the stump, but I know damn well they're just going to dig it out, right? Maybe not at first, if we, but once the stuff starts oozing into the ground, then they start digging, and they'll end up ripping it out, and we'll just let it sit there in that hole, but that's fine. But for now, we're going to make it nice and neat. Hopefully they cooperate. Parker's going to start dumping the stuff in. All right, stop this. Oh, a lot of bread in there. Throw the other cookies in there. <clears throat> there you go. Ten gallons. It's a perfect size stump. All right, get that wrapper out of there. Tootsie roll wrapper. All right, now we gotta lit it up. Put that new lid on there. You lift it. It's heavy. That one's flatter than the other one, so we'll put them both on there. Careful. All right. Look at that, it's perfect. That way no other animals can get in there. 
I'll throw that one on top of that. Yeah, maybe the other way. That's fine. The old backpack sprayer. You smell that? Mm -hmm. huh? It smells good. You soak everything down. Bears are gonna smell that for miles and miles, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the we got it set up. We got the camera working. I think it's taking pictures and it's sending to my phone. I think. Um, unless we gotta wait to get back to the Wi-Fi. It says on the camera it took some pictures. We got it all sprayed down. We got it baited up. It's the beginning. This is another year, 2024, right? So we'll go back. Hopefully, we get some footage uh, this weekend while we're still up here, huh? Mm -hmm. We can add it in at the video here now, but. We gotta get out of here because mosquitoes are absolutely horrible, terrible, right? You got a sweatshirt on and a hood at least, so they go right through my hat. Those holes in the hat, terrible. Look at them. You see them? Look at them all. If you stand still, you get covered. It's all I hear is mosquitoes. Let's go.